Hey everybody, Milton Davis is here. Um, as I told you, I will be here today. And today we're going to be talking about the third book of Changa Safari. Uh, I'm just going to share a little bit, some historical behind it. The third book of Changa Safari is called um, Kitapu Kitata. And that basically means The Emperor's Ransom. That's the, uh, I mean, it means book three. But the title of this one is The Emperor's Ransom. Um, I will have to say, out of all the three stories that I wrote for this first volume, uh, that was probably um, the one I had the most fun with. Um, the reason, because it was actually based on something that I found out when I was doing my research uh, about China and at that time, you know, the, called the Middle Kingdom. And it was a story about one of the Chinese emperors who was under the advisement of his uh, uh, eunuch advisor, um, decided to invade Mongolia. Now, at this time, Mongolia was no longer in control of China. Um, they had broken free, and the, Mon and the Mongols had basically moved back into the traditional land of Mongolia. Um, however, when they invaded this area, their um, emperor was defeated, um, and he was captured. And for two years, no one heard any about anything from him. But then after that two-year period, period, he reappeared, and eventually worked his way back into being emperor of the Middle Kingdom. Um, now, how that happened, um, there's history books that I've read have different explanations of it, but I had a theory, <laughs> and uh, that's what I did when I wrote the third story, The Emperor's Ransom. Uh, just to set the stage for this story, uh, this was after Changa's second adventure, um, when I talked about him and passing through the Moroccan Straits and trying to find this particular spice, and he finds himself in Southeast Asia. Now, the Southeast Asia of Changa's time is not is nowhere near like the Southeast Asia that we think of today. You know, we think of countries like uh, uh, Cambodia, we think of um, Laos, we think of Vietnam. But, uh, of course, here I am with visuals again. Uh, this map is basically a drawing of what the Southeast, how Southeast Asia looked during Changa's time. Of course, we had the Great Ming Empire, which was basically China. Um, but the interesting thing is that um, when you look where we, where we know where Vietnam is, it was a country called Champa, and then there was Dai Viet. And in my particular book, uh, Changa actually visit, visits Champa, and that's where he is uh, encounters uh, three eunuchs. Now, back in the day, um, eunuchs were very important to the um, to uh, royal uh, China. Um, they did all the work, from sweeping the stairs to being advisors to Chinese emperors. In this particular case, um, Changa met three eunuchs who were seeking his help. Um, they basically um, wanted him wanted him to help them uh, free the emperor from the Mongols. And that's where this story begins. It's the longest story in the volume and probably, I guess, say one of the most exciting stories. Uh, speaking of this area, again, I just want to show you another map of the area as well. This one kind of focuses more on the uh, countries during that time period. Um, you can basically look up uh, no Southeast Asia in the 15th century, and you will get um, these maps, and it'll show you different areas and stuff like that. And also, what I want to show you on the other map, if you can see it, because it's kind of small, is um, right in this area. Remember when I was telling you about the Moroccan Straits? Uh, this is the Moroc These this is the Moroccan Straits right here, and uh, this is what it would look would have looked like during that time period as far as countries and territories and stuff. So that's there. Another thing I want to talk about history wise was that, that there's a person, people that make a prominent um, introduction in this story are the Woku. Um, Woku, um, and I'm, I know I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but Woku is uh, basically literally translated to Japanese pirates. And they were known throughout this area for a long period of time. Uh, they basically would raid the Chinese coast, and so much so that there were particular generals who were s assigned specifically to deal with the Woku situation. Um, I mentioned one in, um, in, in the Changa Safari story, and it's a particular city that was their main uh, headquarters to fight the Woku. Initially, most of the Woku were thought of as being ja uh, Japanese, but eventually at some point, there were actually some Chinese people that became parts of, of the Woku as well, so it became more of an international force. Um, they were finally defeated, defeated in, the six, in the 1600s. That's probably about 150 years after the Changa Safari, Changa story takes place. Um, also, um, another thing I liked about writing this story was I got a chance to um, move Changa into Mongolia itself and got a chance to talk to uh, talk about the um, Mongol people, 
um, uh, some of the, the, the capital city there and just really get into that culture. And to be able to um, tell a story where I have an African hero that has actually traveled from East Africa to this part of the world and is playing a prominent role in the situation that's happening here was really exciting. And of course, it being a fantasy story, uh, we had to have some fantastic elements in there as well. Uh, Panya plays a, a large role in this story as well. But I'm not going to tell too much about it because I want you guys to read it. But again, that's the third story in the Chunk Safari. It's uh, Kitabu Chitatu. Um, and this is like the little map that's in the book that goes along with it. And once you finish and read that story, you will be finished with the first volume of stories. The next book, uh, Changa Safari uh, Volume 2, is when Changa starts to make his return journey back to East Africa. There's some exciting stories in there as well, and I hope you got a chance to read it. But hey, uh, check this book out. Uh, read it. Uh, I see Rodney say, buy the book and read it. <laughs> I, I agree with Rodney. It's a really fun book. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, that's it. So... Uh, I'll put a I'll put a link up so you guys can uh, check out the books if you want to, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys next week. Take care, peace.